This video was brought to you by NCIX. Great technology, selection, and service. Hello everyone, Eber here with Hardware Canucks, and I think we can all appreciate the variety of options of gaming peripherals that is available for MMO gamers. But choosing the right one for you may be tough. There is no doubt Razer has the reputation for delivering a diverse list of products, but the Razer Naga in particular is probably one of their most popular mice aside from the Death Adder. Today we're going to take a look at a revamped Razer Naga that follows suit as an MMO style gaming mouse priced at $90, available for both left hand and right hand users. So to kick things off, the build quality of the mouse feels great with an anti-slip coating that does feel uncomfortable at times, but I would have preferred at least a premium plastic material or a soft touch rubber surface finish like my ABR 7000. At 135 grams, the Naga is heavy, but it sports a well-balanced weight system. There's no customizable weights to suit the user's need, and I personally would have preferred that implementation, since a lot of users might feel it too heavy. Ergonomically, the mouse is well-shaped. There's a rubber grip on the right side that complements a secure fit for both my ring and pinky fingers, but there isn't a proper conventional grip for the thumb on the left side due to the 12 different buttons, which I'll get to in a moment. I have pretty large hands and prefer to rest my hand on top and the Naga is a nice fit. For a claw type grip, you'll miss out on the comfortable support on the right and it might be difficult to use the mouse if you lift it too often. The Teflon feet at the bottom of the mouse complements a smooth glide and I didn't notice any signs of peeling. Nice. The Naga is equipped with the 8200 DPI 4G laser sensor which delivered precise tracking in game and I did enjoy my usual 1600 to 1800 DPI setting. The sensor does track on white surfaces but not on glass, so that's something to keep in mind. There are 21 programmable buttons on the Naga, and I know that sounds like a lot, but to put things in perspective, there are 9 main buttons on the top and 12 buttons on the left side where you can program the macros to your preference. The primary left and right click buttons do provide excellent tactile feedback. The scroll wheel on the other hand was difficult to press with very weak scroll steps which was disappointing and we did experience the same issue with the Taipan that we reviewed recently. On the other hand, the tilt clicks felt great with proper tactile registration which was pleasing. The deep dash shift buttons were easy to reach but they weren't as tactile as the primary left and right buttons and felt awkward using them. But the option to change the sensitivity on the fly is appreciated. Moving on to the main highlight of the Naga are the 12 programmable macro buttons on the left side. They do respond well with great tactile feedback and I was able to reach all 12 with my thumb easily. The entire layout curves with the body and each button has a slightly different shape to help your finger memory. But I would have liked to see even more significant shape differences between buttons for easier distinction. They are quite small and sometimes I did end up pressing two buttons at the same time. For users with smaller fingers, this might not be an issue, but for the rest we recommend to program only the macros that you can reach and press without affecting the others. Here's a listen of how all the buttons sound. The cable is braided and it comes with proper logo on the tip to help differentiate between other cables that you may have plugged in. Great! In terms of lighting, we have three zones, the logo at the back, the scroll wheel and the 12 buttons on the left side. The logo at the back comes with a breathing effect but the rest of the zones don't. Alternatively, you can turn them all off and that's it. No customization at all. It is a little disappointing for a 2014 release. The driver software is done very well with Razer Synapse 2.0 that can detect all your Razer gaming peripherals. We are greeted with customized tab where you can store as many profiles as you want that are saved on the mouse and thanks to the built-in memory. On the right hand side you have a physical layout of the mouse with 9 programmable buttons and up to 8 different key maps. The side view displays the 12 different macros that you can customize to your preference. The performance tab helps you adjust the DPS setting along with the pointer acceleration and the option to change the polling rate. The lighting tab allows you to turn the LED lights on or off. Next, you can calibrate the laser sensor to your surface and the option to record macros is also available which might come in handy especially for gameplays. And thanks to the built-in 32-bit microprocessor that can store all your macro recordings. So in conclusion, the Naga 2014 edition from Razer brings a lot to the table with its excellent build quality and proper ergonomics for full hand support for palm type grip and allows excellent button reach for claw grippers as well. The sensor performance is excellent and the option to change the sensitivity on the go is appreciated. 
The 12 programmable buttons on the left side do bring a lot of customizable features to gamers that need to have the ultimate control at the tip of their thumb and the excellent driver software is easy to use. A few negatives to point out is I didn't like the anti-slip coating as it lacks the premium feel. The total lack of customizable lighting is disappointing and I wish the macro buttons had a more significant concave curve to help your finger memory. But with that said, the Naga is an excellent option for those looking for an MMO style mouse for gaming that favors palm type grip for comfort and claw type for excellent button reach. But what do you guys think about the Naga? Is it worth the $90 investment? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, consider subscribing for more similar content. Give us a like if you found this review helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.